Yep, time for this again, more Japanese seafood. Except I'm pretty sure that last time the uh, fish floss was actually Chinese in origin. Anyway, that's not relevant. Well, I've got more of this stuff to clear out before it goes rancid. Or, as in the case of many of these, even more rancid. Right, so let's start off with something scrumptious. Mmm. 7% something. This is apparently pureed brain and organs of crab mixed with minced crab meat. Mmm, organs. I'm hoping Hammond. Well, it's going to be a tin full of crab meat with some bits of the crab they'd normally throw out or use in, I don't know, cat food or something. Oh, blimey, it doesn't want to open. Come on, you want to do it. Open sesame. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting to open a tin and then basically find it in a bag. Hmm. Smells crabby, I suppose. Um, oh dear. It's not looking too good from a purely physical point of view. Mm -mm -mm. Well, here we are. I do like crab meat, as a general rule. Not necessarily so keen on minced brain and organs of crab, but hey, you only live once. And it's a very short life if you keep eating stuff like this. Um, mm. Mmm. Just tastes like crab meat, really, to be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure what it's in, but it's, it's mildly unpleasant. It has a kind of, ugh, horrible cloying taste. I would say it tastes like it's gone off, but um, apparently most of this stuff is supposed to taste like that, so... Mm, no. Mm, I think perhaps actually it's the crab meat is alright, and the, uh, yeah, the stuff it's in is the puree, and that's pretty nasty. Yeah, you're not selling me on that. Ugh. That has not become a fixture. At my future dinner parties. Ugh. Oh, oh dear. I tell you what, the taste is not going away either. It's not magically delicious. Anyway, let's have something that's far more pleasant. For instance, raw squid fermented in putrefied viscera. Viscera, if you're not aware, basically means guts. Oh, I was kind of looking for something I'd recognise on there, but no, it's all another language. Well, it um, hasn't gone out of date yet, that's something. Well, twist to open. I'm sure it's going to smell fantastic. Well, the safety poppy thing went, so that's a good sign. And... Oh god. That does look astonishingly bad. Smells very acidy. I mean really acidy, like vinegary acidy. Could mean it's gone off. Probably means it's just unpleasant. Um, yeah. Hmm. Well, raw squid, eh? I quite like squid, but I've never had it raw, I must say. I'm not going to eat a terrific amount of this. The whole putrefied viscera thing is not exactly selling it on me. Mmm, squid-tastic. Right, here it goes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh dear, no. Abort, abort. Oh! Oh. Yeah, wow, that's acidic. I mean, <laughs> they're not saying it's putrefied for no reason. Thanks, lads, for inventing that dish, and uh, yeah, that, that's that's really made my day. Well, this has not started well. Strongly disliked the first one, and that one was frankly monstrous. The actual raw squid part wasn't too bad. It was a little bit rubbery, as you'd expect, but you know, I didn't mind that. Very much did mind the acidy thing. I tell you what that reminded me of. God, years ago I bought some orange juice from a newsagent's, took it back to the office where I was working, took the top off and took a swig to discover it had completely gone off and fermented, and it was just like acid. And that's pretty similar to that, not quite as powerful, but oh. Yeah, right, <clears throat> let's move swiftly on, shall we, to something a little more pleasant, which won't be bloody hard. Wasabi flavoured dry fish and almonds. There we are. Who wants wet fish? Nobody. There they are with their little eyeballs staring at you. Mmm, this is going to be good, isn't it? Let's open. Let us pour onto the plate, because it's sitting here messing up the contrast and we're not using it for anything. There's a lot of almonds so far, not so many fish. Ah, oh, here we go. Snacktastic. Well, I'm going to have an almond, quickly. How wasabi is it, do you think? Um, it's not very wasabi at all. Wasabi's the horseradish sauce, isn't it? Very hot. It's the stuff I'm thinking of. Anyway, little dried fish. This one we're going to call Peter. Peter was a small fish. Then he became a dead fish, and then he got dried and stuck with some wasabi stuff. Yep, they've left all the eyeballs and everything intact. That's always good. Oh well, here goes everything. Um, tastes fishy. Not really getting much of a hint of wasabi, I must say. 
Yes, yeah, all right. Just tastes like a little dried fish, really. I think the reason for that is because it is a little dried fish. Yeah, it's all right. I could happily eat those. I wish they wouldn't stare at me quite as much, but uh, hey, I suppose fish just don't have manners, do they? Let's swap in another plate, because it's time for... Oh God. You remember those horrible fish sausages last time? Now we've got processed fish sausage with cheese. Yeah, that's just what I thought when I was eating those. Gee, if only these had some cheese in them, they'd be great. Good God, these look like... I don't even know what they look like, some sort of... Uh, cross between a child's balloon and a colostomy bag. Right, rip it open using the uh, thing that never quite seems to work properly. Go on. Here we go. Gotcha. And... Oop. Oh god. Oh man! I was expecting it to be sort of blended together, but I think it's kind of the white as fish and the orange is the cheese? I don't know. Oh man. Oh, yuck. Not keen on this one. It's just the thought of it, really. It can't actually possibly be as bad as the stuff I've had earlier, thinking about it. But here we are. Oh god, there's black stuff in it as well. <laughs> I'm hoping that's from the fish and not from the cheese. Right. Spoon at the ready, because I've run out of forks for some reason. Oh, look at that. Big bit of cheese in the middle. Perfect. Look at that. It's like a fried egg from Satan's anus. Right, what's this like? Hmm. It's fishy, it's cheesy, it's made me a bit wheezy. Um, do you know, that doesn't really taste of anything. It tastes vaguely of processed cheese. Like a very faintly tasting processed cheese. And the fish stuff doesn't taste of anything, to be brutally honest. I wouldn't have known what that was if you'd just given it to me. Let's try a little bit of just the white, so the uh, cheese doesn't take the taste away. Um, no, I don't really taste anything. Perhaps a very vague fish taste? No. Oh well. Yeah, not really much to say on that one. It's a big rubbery slab of nothing. A bit like Piers Morgan. Right, what's next? Dessert, I feel. Mmm. Seafood dessert? Surely such a thing should not exist, you scream at me. Well, you're right. Ghana, black chocolate and shrimp snacks. That's right. Somebody thought they'd get some shrimps and cover them in chocolate and call it a dessert. I don't really understand the theory behind this one. So it's like they've got a lot of shrimps and they've got to do something with them. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. That looks more like um, prawn toast or something. Prawn crackers or something like that. It certainly doesn't actually have a whole shrimp in it. I don't know why I'm sounding disappointed. Well, let's see how dark chocolate and shrimp goes together, shall we? Hmm. Tastes of dark chocolate. And whatever the stuff in the middle is, the shrimp stuff, and we're brutally honest, tastes of almost nothing. Somebody could have quite happily told me that this was dark chocolate wafer, and I would have believed it. I'm not even getting a hint of shrimp. And hint of shrimp is a very bad name for a heavy metal band. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would make sense to me, taste wise. Doesn't make sense as to why putting shrimp in it if you can't even taste it. I don't know. Oh well, that was a nice easy one. Anyway, time for some booze to take the taste away, or at least it would if it didn't have a fucking fish in it. Welcome to Saki, I believe, containing a bit of a blowfish. Apparently the musical career with Hootie didn't uh, go out, and there it is. Or is it a puffer fish? Puffer fish, but I don't know the difference. Puffer and blow? I'm confused in my head. Anyway, it's one of those. It's that Fugu one, I think, that um, has a poisonous bit in it that Homer ate in The Simpsons once and thought he was going to die, but then he didn't. And then the series got crap years later. Yeah. For some reason, somebody thought it was an idea to take a very nice Weiss Rhine and stick a bit of fucking fish in it, and I don't really understand that. Also, slightly worrying is that when I was first sent this, the fish floated on the top, and it's kind of sunk to the bottom over the years. So, quite powerful booze going on. I reckon with my brains, that this is going to taste like sake with a bit of fish in it. I can't really see any other way it could go. Oh, and... Oh god, no, no spillage. Over the cap. I do not wish to get fishy booze on the sofa. Oh god, that was dangerously close. There's something I can wipe my hands on. Oh, nothing. Good preparation there. Right. Bottoms up. Yeah. That is literally sake with a hint of fish. It's not that unpleasant because the hint of fish is very subtle, but I would much prefer it without the fish in it. Call me old-fashioned if you will, but I like my booze like I like my women, without bits of dead fish stuck in them. 
I don't know why I specified dead. I wouldn't want a bit of live fish stuck in my mouth. That would be even weirder. Anyway, that's that. Hmm. Do you know, that's not actually that bad. I didn't get much of a fish hint at all the second time. I quite like sagi. Oh well, there we go. That's all the Japanese seafood I will ever eat until next time, because I've probably still got some more in the frickin' cupboard or something. I don't know anymore. Bloody hell, I've outdone myself here. It almost looks appetising, as long as you don't, you know, focus too much on the squid or that bit of fish I got out of the sake. Anyway, I want my own cookery TV series now. Come on, somebody, get ITV in touch. Let's sort this bitch out. Stop. 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 Stop.